Would you rather have every song you listen to from now on turn into Nyan Cat, or have every movie you watch turn into Badger Badger Badgers? I'll just ruin the fun of watching movies. I'd definitely pick Nyan Cat, because I haven't gotten tired of it yet. Yeah, I'd probably pick Nyan Cat too. Um, someone made a video, like edited it, so um, it's Nyan Cat with um with faults. Um, so they made the rainbow like a fault cloud and like a jet like a jet pull like fault cloud jet wise, and um. So like Nyankats is farting the entire time and <laughs> ah it's really funny um you should look it up So it looks like this is this one split right down the middle but about 300 more people agree with us with the Nyankat thing Yeah Here's Nyankat's new I mean just, I mean, okay, just the audio from Badger's annoying. Did you see the Nyan cat that I built in the server? I... I think I remember seeing that, but I don't remember exactly well. It's next to the, uh... Fortress? Is that what it's called? Stronghold. Yeah, Stronghold, yeah. I think I, I think I know, I think I know where that, I think I saw that. I wasn't sure about it though. Uh, like I, I, I only remember, I don't remember seeing it a lot, so probably just saw it once. kind of in between the treehouse and the stronghold. I think I saw, saw it there. Um, so, I think you just built a lot of random stuff on the solo when I gave you the, um, the creative mode. <laughs> yeah. Mostly Lugia. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I mean, that was a big thing, but like, one of the things... I think you did this. Well, they used you made tree did use tree logs and built hello on the side of a cliff. I think you did that a couple of times though. No, I did not. Well, if anything, I would have built like a. If I would have thought of it, I would have built a sideways tree. That would have been funny. So, um, as for the, um, puzzle punishment pit, I still don't have anyone to do it yet. Uh, I talked to, um, talked to John about it, and, um, he says he's, he's down for doing it. Um, I just have to come up with the, with the time, I have to talk to him when he's available. So, probably next weekend. Um, sh so, uh, as a spoiler alert, uh, big video coming up, and um, it should be fun to watch. Um, subscribe, and um, you'll see you'll be alerted quickly for when it comes out. Is it over? What? The video. I mean, the oh no, no, I was talking about just a spoiler off of the um, off the pun uh, punishment puzzle pit video. For the punishment, pu punishment video, it's coming out. It's gonna be cool. I might just buy it so I can be, so I can do the puzzle bit. Well, maybe that's what I could buy it for. I could buy the game, and you would just make all these horrible things for me to endure. Didn't we do that anyway? Like, <laughs> I would. <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> With your zombie pigmen and aghast.
<laughs> yeah, the gas was out of line. That was way too destructive. Um, when you, when you're on a that was uh, bad. yeah, that was. I was like, holy crap, why'd I do that? Um, <laughs> though it'd be like the perfect thing to like catch someone entirely off guard because like gas would spawn and like holy crap and it explodes everything that is thing actually no. Be an it interesting trap. Yeah, it would be. Um actually gas cannot destroy cobblestone. I think. So like, if you go in the nether with with a bunch of cobblestone, it's effectively obsidian at that point. Favorite superhero? You already know mine, it's Spider-Man. Yeah... I, I'm not really big on superheroes. I mean, why does... I mean, I, I think about it and it's just like, why? You could pick a villain. Well, the same thing is... I, I, I might have to say... I might just say Batman, but even then, I mean, I'm Batman. I'm not a big fan of Batman, but just the fact that Batman, Batman's strength is was not is didn't just come natural. He had to work for it. And I think that's what really makes him so so unique compared to compared to everyone else. Future reference, guys. I don't like Superman. He cheats. It's like, Superman, when did you get the power to, um... See, what's a random super power? Ice Breath? <laughs> Yeah, but I think that one became ca more canon. <laughs> I think that one became canon, though, for Superman. Uh, I was like, Superman, when did you... Yeah, that's one of his things. Yeah, but it's just like... It seemed like just so out of the blue when they came up, like, when he uses it. Did you know about uh, the 1920s Superman? Pretty much does whatever he wants. He could make up superpowers out of the blue. It's like, Superman, when did you get the power to teleport? It's like, I don't teleport, I just move really fast. It was like, no, no, that was teleportation. Like, there was no route from point A to point B physically possible. You just teleported. It was like, well, my secret's out. I just made it up. Essentially, people just made up superpowers back then. Um, I think the, um... The thing that really got me the most about Superman is not so much Superman himself, but the people who like Superman. Like, what do you mean? We're gonna get so much fanboy hate. Um, yeah, and um, I don't care. You know, a one didn't have to put up what I had to put up with going up. Um, so essentially, like. It's just like, oh, like, you must love Superman because Superman's amazing. Well, it's like, I'm like, well, I guess he is amazing, but, like, what's so special? And, like, oh, you must love Superman. I'm like, well, I don't love Superman. And it's just, to me, it's, 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 it's not that big of a deal, but for them, it's just like, either you love Superman or, you, or we hate you. And I, I, I don't get it. Why so much hate? It's... It became... I mean... I'm not a hipster. I'm not... Um, sometimes I like doing my own thing, but like, when it, came, it comes to Superman, it's just like... You're just so expected to like it. And there's no reason to. 
then, you know, at times it feels like there's no reason to. Like, I've seen a few shows, I've seen an animated series, I've seen a couple of movies, but it just didn't, it, it's not magical. It's, it's nothing special. I mean, Superman does his Superman thing, and, um, I mean, if nothing else, he's a, he's, a, he's a flying brick with super strength and um, laser eyes. And, I mean, for the most part, that's in super speed. I mean, for the most part, that's what, it, that's what he has. And he does, he does have the ice breath, but, you know, that rarely shows up. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't given the chance to have a normal childhood, okay? We don't need to talk about it. So, would you rather have gravity shut off for one day, or have everyone around you go insane and want to kill you? You have no warning of either before they happen. Well, um, see, day in the life of... I'm, I'm gonna say gravity. <laughs> um, well... Stay indoors! Well, the people inside want to kill you, too. Everyone wants to kill no, you. No, it's either or. I'm gonna say gravity and stay indoors. Oh, oh, I thought you meant, like, like, just stay indoors... If those evil people, I mean, crazy people who want to kill you, and now staying inside will protect you. It's like, staying inside won't protect you. But yeah, yeah, I guess that works out. I mean, watch out for the ceiling fan. I don't have one. Got a nice stretch in right there. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, stay, in, stay inside, you know, that might be fine. I mean, then again, like, everything inside would be floating around, too. Like, all gra- like, would it be like all gravity stops? Yes. So, like, the Earth itself would fall apart. I'm- I'm gonna assume no. Like, unless you're- unless somehow the- your- your Earth is physically connected in the ground, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, um, your house physically connected to the ground, even that would float away. I think you're thinking too far into this. Let's find out more about this atrocious Pokemon. Oh yeah, I like the female Gyarados more because it has the, uh, the white mustache. Which one are you doing, male or female? Uh, it's it's Pokemon. It's Gyarados from Red and Blue, so um, doesn't have gender. So, but I mean, no gender. But the mustache, I mean, the the little face whiskers, all white for the most part. So I guess female. Win. This has been an easy spread. I haven't really lost track of where, I, where I'm building yet. I mean, usually I'm like, okay, which spot was I building on um, right now? What spot was it? Am I building on? Am I building on now? And like, what? Which one? That I'm not having that problem this time. 
Yeah, I'm just getting better at this. It's me. That could be it too. <laughs> so, I know I've told you about this, but not everyone else. My friend caught a shiny Magikarp. I forget what color it was. And he was really excited because he was going to evolve it and make it into a shiny Gyarados. But then he remembered, it's a red Gyarados, and everyone has one of those. <laughs> so now he just has a shiny Magikarp. And it's kind of depressing. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, remember what I just said about, like, not screwing up and, um, doing well? <laughs> like, right before I just started saying that, I screwed up. I blame the clouds, like, the top, like, the top three sprites. The thing is so big it's touching the clouds? Well the top three pixels are touching the clouds. Yeah. Well I guess it wouldn't be as bad if I, if I slotted off at like at sea level but I didn't if I slotted off you know a little bit closer to sea level than I did but I'm on kind of a it's above a, uh, a hill so I had to go a little bit higher than usual but even, even when you look at it from a distance it's, the clouds shouldn't be a problem. I wish they'd bring back the Pokeathlon. That was fine, I mean... I... You know what I wish... I really wish they would bring back? Pokemon contests like they were in, um... In Ruby and Sapphire. Ew, the beauty contest things? No, the way they were in Ruby and Sapphire, though. Like, in Diamond and Pearl, the, um... They became, l like, okay, in Ruby and Sapphire, the moves had totally diff like, each move had a different effect in, uh, in the Pokemon Contest in Diamond and Pearl. No, I mean, uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Diamond and Pearl, they simplified it. I was like, oh, this is a jam move, this is this type of move, this is this type of move, this is this type of move. And so they gave it all generic stuff. And, um, because it used to be in Ruby and Sapphire, you could do some pretty awesome appeal combos. And it was, it was legitimately, you, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but, like, it could be, it could be quite competitive, like, if you wanted to play against other people. Um, you know, back in Ruby and Sapphire, though, you know, competitiveness back then is different than competitive is now. Oh. oh man, do you have a favorite region? Hang on, I think I might have... I'm trying to figure out if I screwed up again. You did. I'll just let you know. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to sit there and like, did I just screw up on this? Um, favorite region... You know what? I really like Diamond and Pearl. Uh, I mean, Ruby and Sapphire was great. I mean, no, no. No, Ruby and Sapphire... No, Diamond and Pearl was awesome. Because it had the underground. And um, you can get awesome... You can just get items out of there really easily. And um, and to make it better... Um, remember where the, um, the, the Pokemon Breedles were? The Pokemon Daycare is? Yeah, it had that gigantic <clears throat> running space. Oh yeah, I missed that. That was awesome. I mean, that alone is like the best thing about Diamond and Pearl. Breeding was so easy. And I don't just mean like... Okay, there was a um... A, um, kind of a exploit that you can do with the game um, as a way of first off you had to identify what random number you were on for Pokemon generation I mean when they generate a Pokemon when you randomly encounter, encounter it you had to figure out what Pokemon you were I mean what random number you're on but then but once you did that you were able to pretty much because you went through a set list that's the problem with that's the problem with random number generators is they go through a set list 
and so the list is not random it's just so big that's it's so big it's, it's impossible to keep track of so once you figure out where you are on that list you say like oh you know this if I cancel this Pokemon now it has a um it, this has to be this if I cancel this Pokemon now this has to be this so people were able to use the coin flip to to move through the random number generator uh, to get to you know to the point where they can just catch I was like okay well um, it's too much this at this number I can do um, I can catch a um, if I hatch this Pokemon it will be a um, it'd be a shiny with perfect IVs and um, and you know once people figured out how to how to do that you had a lot of Pokemon popping up that were, like perfect stats shiny with perfect like perfect everything and um I never I never did it myself I have a friend who did it since did it and um the Pokemon that you got there were amazing um you know a lot of people would say I know you would say that you know that's not that's cheating but when it, what it comes down to is you know if you're gonna have the best Pokemon anyway you might as well do it uh, do it in a, in a way that's easy as possible let alone than hacking the game So my favorite was uh, Ruby version, but that was just because of the Pokemon and the region and the art style. Oh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire were like people pe people been asking for remakes of Ruby and Sapphire, and for what I can tell, there's w only one reason why we're not going to get it anytime soon. Ruby, and, okay, Gen One and Gen Two. Fire Red, Leaf Green, and um, and Hot Gold, Soul Silver. Those will be made because there's no way to actually trade Pokemon out of those out of those regions before they made the game. Like you couldn't you couldn't get a Pokemon from Kanto from Kanto like literally from Kanto into into Diamond and Pearl until they remade until they re remade uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I mean, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and um, Hot Gold, Soul Silver. I was okay. I have a really good one. I shoot. Would you rather be trapped in a box with a polar bear or a bipolar bear? <laughs> uh, is that, is that, was that a serious question? Yes. So the box is ten feet by ten feet. Um, I guess either way, you're probably gonna die. Um, well, I mean, polar bear might be angry or might be not be, but the bipolar bear has the bipolar thing going on. Well, here's the thing. I wouldn't want to be trapped in a box with a bipolar, bipolar cat. Because um, animals can be bi bipolar. And I've seen videos of people with bipolar cats. Those cats are crazy. And they, they're mean. Those are mean cats. Standard bear? Standard polar bear? Um, I don't... See... Either way, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> you have to keep in mind, like polar bears, well though native, meat doesn't rot; it just freezes. So, like the polar bear sneaking is like, I can kill him now and eat him later. So, I'm gonna tell you about the one, the one would you rather that I remember the best because it's the most hard in my opinion. Would you rather be attacked by uh, 10 angry raccoons or no it's 20 angry raccoons or 3 large rottweilers? 
See, raccoons... Raccoons tend to carry rabies be, to begin with. And, um... So there's a high probability of rabies. No rabies. To get, no, don't have to worry about the rabies. No, Non-rabid raccoons. No diseases of any kind on either animal. Okay, so, um... Assuming they're all, like, viciously trying to attack me. So, like... It's not like... And so, like, 20 raccoons easily surround you and, like, just crawl over you like a swarm style. But a pack of three dogs. I don't know, I've had a lot of... Ex the dogs bite stuff off. Yeah. But the raccoons have the full body coverage thing going for them. I don't know, I, I feel like it'd stand up to three... I don't know, that's three dogs, though. Like... I've been able to scare off dogs, like, I'm good with dogs, um, you know, I don't know if I could pacify, like, I could pacify, it. like, these are attack dogs, though, even, oh, shoot, I'd probably choose the dogs, just because I think I, I feel more comfortable, and I feel like I, ha I stand a better chance of, you know, surviving and not getting eaten at all with dogs and raccoons. Yeah, I mean, personally, I think I would... I wanted to pick the raccoons because I think I could outrun them and get somewhere safe. Yeah, like, even, even like, police dogs, like... Like, I, I've, I've looked... I've... I didn't exactly look into it, but I've... I've talked to people who actually have trained police dogs and whatnot. The thing is, like, you're gonna get bit. Like, if you own a police dog and, like, you have one trained, there's no question about it, it will bite you. It's only a matter of time, that's what they do. They're not family pets. They're, they're walking dogs. And, um, and so if it's a, if it's an actual guard dog and, and anything, I'm assuming it's gonna, re it's gonna kind of react the same way as a police dog would. And so, using that as a police dog as a base. If you ever get any chased by a police dog, stop running and don't look like the target. Because the police dogs use your movement as as a, as a clue of what they need to go catch. Yeah, I forget who told me this, but whenever you are got dogs, you don't run away. The second you show fear, they're gonna come after you. Well, it's it's the quick movements they they pick up on, not so much the fear thing. But you know, people people do quick, stupid movements. You know, no scaled. So, yeah. That's why you get the whole sense feel thing. The most intimidating dog situation I've been in well, I was at a I was at a friend's house. I was picking her up for uh, for an activity, and she had probably about probably about five German shepherds, and these are these aren't like small German shepherds. No, these are big German shepherds. Why? They like German Shepherds. Like German Shepherds, like the only dog I am legitimately afraid of. But why so many? I don't know. Uh, do they had puppies and like they didn't get rid of them? And um, yeah. So um, like that was just, dude. It was it was scary, man. I was just like. Uh, <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> and I was just like, I mean, I, like I had not been in a house before, and like so I didn't know that there was that many. So I had no, like I, I wasn't even prepared for it or anything. So we we, we get back to the we we get to the call. And I was like, it's like. Your dogs scare me. Like, I'm good with dogs, but, like, German Shepherd's, like, the only dog that scares me. It's like, why? Because, like, 
my experience with German Shepherds is that they they run up to the edge of the leash or, or fence and they bark. That's all they do, and they and like they have big mouths that that just look look good for just snapping on people. Not like not just like not biting down like like a pit bull would, but no like snapping clothes and just like holding what like not se severe damage but just to halt. And I see that, and like my experience experiences like this bulk and the vicious looking and like ah. Uh, German Shepherds were they the war dogs. They are literally war dogs. Um like they are they'll partly um part of the breed comes from wolves actually. Um European uh European wolves. The the Germans bred them. I mean I may be wrong on this but and you you don't have to believe me, but holy crap. There's some dog that that's a dog that scares me. Apparently in Pokemon Black and White 2, you can find Gyarados at level 1 in the Nature Preserve using a Super Rod. Anywhere from level 1 to 100. That's interesting. I have to try that just to have one. That's the game. Yeah, well, I don't know, that's Black and White 2. Black and White 2 is a pretty good game. I uh, just finished it just about. I mean, those there's a couple of things in the story I still need to wrap up, but for the most part I finished it. It's the first, like, it's Black and White 2 is like the first, um, third release Pokemon game out of a gen, uh, since, um, since Crystal that I got. Like, I got Crystal and I really was not happy with it. It just seemed like like the same old same -o and um, nothing really special when I got cri Pokemon Crystal. I had those people who love it, but I'm just like, after you play through Gold and Silver Crystal, it's just not that much fun. So, would you rather be Gandalf or be Luke Skywalker? They spell Gandalf wrong. It's Gandalf. Luke Skywalker or Gandalf? See, one guy is awesome, and the other guy is a um annoying crybaby. And the fans will agree with me on that. comments here people don't know who Gandalf is. What? And people that are just like <laughs> and other people that are saying like I hate you a little bit. Just leave. You know this stuff. A lot of hate back and forth. Well people talking about the guy who doesn't know who Gandalf is. The person that doesn't know who Gandalf is. Everyone's like what's wrong with you? Um see power of the false to the level of no one else, beyond the level of anyone else in the galaxy. But you have all the emotional baggage of like your father trying to kill you and stuff. Yeah, but he turned good at the end. And you kissed your sister. Yeah. Luke Skywalker is broken. Yeah. Mentally. Like, I wouldn't want to be Gandalf because he's in the the at the end of the series he becomes more or less dead. He goes to the evergreen shores or whatever it's called. Spoilers. Yeah, I think anyone knows that though. Not this Matt Foley who doesn't know who Gandalf is. Oh, uh, well, he, he's probably not going to see our video anyway. So 
it's pretty, it's down the middle there. Most people can't decide. A little bit more people want to be Luke Skywalker. I'd probably be Gandalf. I mean, if I can have the Force without having to be messed up. Like, okay, here's the thing. Luke Skywalker didn't just kiss his sister. He kissed his sister thinking, like, in a sense, like, oh, there's this attractive girl. I'm going to kiss her. He, no, no. That's the way he kissed his sister. It wasn't like, oh, hey, I can kiss my sister. I mean, it's all family. No, no, no. He, he kissed his sister thinking that she was, she was a pretty girl. Pretty and attractive girl. So, um, yeah. That that's kind of that's kind of messed up. Like, I don't I don't think that'd be something that like most people would be able to forget about. This one's not a hard question at all. What is it? Would you rather be president or a Pokemon trainer? Pokemon channel. Like 20% of the people said president. Everyone else, 80% of the people want to be Pokemon trainers. It's just more fun. Less paperwork. Being, like, I'm, like, we need, when you, when people do, like, interviews with presidents, they all say it's, like, the worst job they've ever had. Oh snap, Gyarados is starting to look like Gyarados.